Meat Boy is back, and today we are making an easy, simple, delicious recipe you can do with pretty much any cut of meat. And the reason I like this so much is because it's going to have a delicious sauce, gravy, whatever you like to call it, that you can put over whatever carbohydrate or vegetable you're having with the meal. So everything is going to be super flavorful, complex, and delicious. Let me show you guys the ingredients. For our meat, we're going to be using the boneless short rib from Frankie's Strange Meat, 100% grass fed. Comes incredibly nicely packaged. And guys, I can't speak enough about this. Usually when you have ribs, you have the bone, it's big, it's kind of hard to work with, but this is super simple. You can cut it in half, do whatever you like with it. To that, we're going to season with onion, garlic, thyme, and bay leaf, everything organic. And you could put water in this and it'll still be completely delicious, but if you want a super concentrated flavor, use some beef broth and red wine. This is my preferred brand, although it still has some pretty negative things in it. You know, I kind of looked at everything available in the supermarket and decided this was the lesser of the evils, but I'm gonna start making some myself because it's not perfect to have this in your diet. And the wine's organic as well. Again, not perfect. It's not like I'm making my own alcohol at home but that's what we're gonna do. The reason this is quick, easy, and simple is because you could just throw all of this stuff in here, the Instant Pot, turn it on, that's it. I'm gonna sear the beef for a few minutes in the pan because it's not that much effort and you get a lot of flavor, but for this stuff, I'm just gonna peel it real quick and we'll be good to go. We have the short ribs browning nicely in our pan. So to the Instant Pot, I'm gonna put my onions, couple cloves of garlic and you know you guys don't have to peel or really cut any of this because I'm just going to strain the sauce out afterwards. Two bay leaves, maybe a teaspoon of dried thyme. After our short ribs brown a few minutes we're going to deglaze the pan with some beef broth and then we're just going to take the pieces of short rib and put them in the instant pot as well as those meat juices that we deglazed. So we got the meat in the bottom, all our garlic, all our seasonings, and we're just gonna cover it with some wine and broth. So we'll do one carton of the beef broth, which is four cups, one cup of red wine. So we're gonna do meat, high pressure, 45 minutes. I think that's gonna be fine. So it takes the Instant Pot about 10 minutes to get enough heat and pressure to start, then 45 minutes of cook time, which is 55 minutes total, and then you have to either vent out the air or just let it sit and the steam will naturally dissipate and then you can open it up. So it's actually been about two hours since we put everything in here. First, I guess let's strain everything out. Okay, so we're just gonna pour this through the strainer. See how tender that beef is before it goes right through. Now I'm just taking the meat out and putting the meat back in the broth. You could have probably made all of those ribs, but I mean, this is enough meat for a day or two for a normal person. So I don't exactly want to make a week worth of meat at once. So we took half of one of the ribs out here on our plate. I boiled up some potatoes and this is our broth with the rest of the beef in it. And overall, this is an incredibly nutritious meal, as simple as it sounds. Potatoes are an excellent source of potassium, copper, minerals, just good clean carbohydrates, feed your gut bacteria. And then the broth we made is super high in B vitamins that we extracted from the meat that were also in the broth. And the meat itself, very high in B vitamins, excellent source of protein, amino acids. And it's pretty calorically dense, perfect meal for the colder months. So I'll just spoon some of that broth on here. All right. Let's give this a shot. Tender, delicious, flavorful. Could definitely add a little bit of salt to that broth, but it really adds a lot of flavor to the potatoes. And I don't really like slow cooked meat like this, but this is good. I know a lot of people do enjoy this type of cooking. So if you like your meat well done, this type of style, definitely try it out. I'm sure most kids would love it. For me, you know, I'd rather have this cooked even rare or medium rare. But thank you guys for joining me today. Hopefully this helps you make a delicious meal for yourself or your family. You can check out frank com for all of my businesses, including Frankie's Range Meat, where you can get these delicious grass-fed short ribs. Outside of that, if you could please drop a like on the video, leave me a comment down below. 
subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, as I said, check out frankdestefile.com to support me. Thanks for joining me, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow. Thank you.